skeleton crew. Shabang. You know, for me, I'm actually I'm I'm more optimistic about this one, uh, just for the fact that I think it's I could I think it could be a sleeper. It might be terrible, but I I feel like it has the best chance of at least the live action shows, which there are only two of. Um, coming out this year. <laughs> Real competitive. That are going to be <laughs> potentially good. But the reason I say that is because it's by the director of who did No Way Home, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, which oh, nice. they, Spider-Man No Way Home, he did such an amazing job bringing in all the Spider-Men into the same universe. And he like harkened back to their lore. Mm -hmm. He gave them all something incredible to do while still keeping the story like, fresh Fantastic. and engaging and he did such a good job in that movie just the, him doing that movie and then hopefully bringing that expertise and that honoring what's come before into this uh story you know if he, if they actually allow him that's the big caveat i'm nervous because i'm wondering if they aren't pushing some of this back skeleton crew because it was supposed to come out last year end of last mm. year and they pushed it back. The only thing that's making me nervous about that is KK. I'm wondering if she's seen the final product and is like, not woke enough or not yeah. not enough agenda. Let's right. let's push more. But Dave is they in might, there. Yeah. Dave is in there now, right? He Dave is help. in there now. Maybe, maybe Davy yeah. Jones can, okay. can steer the ship better than yeah. Kathleen. Uh, it's also got Jude Law, which I like Jude Ooh. Law. He's... Yeah. He's Zach Checker really likes funny. Jude Law. He's funny. He's really funny. likes Jude Law. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really Jude into Law. Jude Law. <laughs> Jude Law played like a perfect Watson in uh, yeah, Sherlock. <laughs> Downey Jr. Yeah. They were a good pair. They were yeah. a really funny mm -hmm. pair. And he's just a great actor. Yeah. Jude Law, can, he's got range, but mm -hmm. he pulls off like, he pulls off the comedy but serious comedy. Yeah, well. yeah. He might not be the best human <laughs> or best person out there, but he he can be a good actor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible person. <laughs> well, I mean, every actor has its flaws. Every but person has everybody. Their flaws, every yeah. person has their flaws, unless you're the AI, AI. fact checker. <laughs> and then <laughs> you're saying, you're going? and then you're saying I'm perfect. I get two wins tonight. Or were you yeah. talking about yourself? Oh, man? dang it. But yeah, so, but the story of uh, Skeleton Crew uh, is so it follows a group of kids who find themselves lost in the vastness of the galaxy trying to find their way home, which is funny because it's Spider Man No Way Home director John Watts. But uh, they like to hearken it to kind of almost like a Goonies in space in mm. Star Wars. Which makes me think that like Jude Law might be more like uh, the older brother in Goonies the Goonies. Is funny. Um, and Goonies is a good movie. That's like a fun action movie. Uh, you know, it's a coming of age movie, which in some ways, which is classic. Is that like an 80s? 80s? It's an, an 80s, 80s film. Movie? Yeah, sure. it's a good movie. Uh, the way that John Watts did No Way Home, I really like that movie. And yeah, no, for sure. Uh, yeah, and that's why I think that's why I'm most excited because. He pitched this idea actually to John Favreau whenever they were working on Marvel stuff together. So um, on No Way Home. So I like the fact that it's a John Favreau and John Watts collaboration type deal, and that he did such a good job on No Way Home that it's got me excited. It's got a great actor being uh, Jude Law. He's funny. He definitely has the comedic timing and could pull things off, make it serious. And with a Goonies feel, I don't know. For me, like that fun 80s nostalgia feel, not that you have to lean in nostalgia, but it still fits kind of with the time mm -hmm. era, closer to the 70s, I guess, mm -hmm. not exactly the 70s. But it fits that, I don't know. I, I, I want that feel again. I want that fun, like adventure story. And I feel like this movie could actually, or a show could actually give us like a fun adventure again that we could actually get into mm -hmm. and get excited. And like the characters, there might actually be a love story there. There's a love story in Goonies. That would be nice. Uh, yeah. It could be great. There could be a uh, sloth. <laughs> yeah. Instead of snail, it's sloth. I mean, it, it's, it's an adventure movie, right? From it what is. I remember. And it's got yeah. the scary Pirate guy. Pirate adventure, man. Pirate. Yeah, pirate. Yeah, Arr! it is set in the Mandalorian time era, which I'm excited about. And there's potentially there's rumors out there that we might see some uh, cameos, some cameos in it. Maybe Mandalorian, maybe Grogu, uh, which would kind of oh, compound it and could be really cool. It could be a really fun uh, way to see things. Uh, it was supposed to come out in 2023, but it got pushed back. I said that. That's making me a little nervous, like I already said. And there's no official release date again. So there's a potential it might not come out this year. I'm really hoping it does. Uh, I think it I think it will. But uh, I'm way more excited about Skeleton <laughs> Crew than I am the Acolyte. Yeah. So I, I, I think it has more positives going for it 
than it does Negative. anything else. And nice. I mean, again, coming off of what we've seen, that's not saying a lot, but at least for the live action shows, I have most, I have more faith in at least potentially having a fun time with this. Yeah.